Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Good evening, teacher. Yes, we can All hear right, you. All right. Good. How are you? So far, so good. All right. Good. What about you, David Samuel? How are you? Hello, Anna. Hi, Rodrigo. Hi, Carla. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Anna. What's new? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm good. I don't know why today I feel thing. like it's Wednesday. I don't listen. Sorry. I don't know why, but I feel like today is Wednesday. Oh, really? <laughs> Hello, Hello Mr. Isaias. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your How was your day today? Working? Yes, we're working. Uh, but I feel very tired, but it was it was well. Where are you? Um yeah, same thing too. Same thing I get. Tired. Hello, Rafael. Are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Okay, good. David, somewhere, can you hear me? Okay, I don't think David can hear me. David, somewhere, can you hear me? Okay, so I only have Adelina, Jose, Rafael today, and Anna. I'm trying to open my platform. It doesn't open. What are you eating, Anna? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bread. <laughs> bread? Just simple bread? Just plain simple bread? Normal. with Coffee. <laughs> sweet bread or, or normal bread? Sweet bread. It's a sin, I know. <laughs> but mm. I just, I'm just finishing my, my dinner time. Hmm. And I remember, God, I need to connect. <laughs> What kind of coffee do you drink? Uh, the normal coffee? Uh, I just like the classic coffee, black coffee. Is it instant? Oh, no, no, no. It's the one you boil, the one in okay. grain. I don't know if it's correct to say grain. Well, you, you know, actually, that's coffee. <laughs> it's the only difference is the other one is instant coffee. Ah, okay. So this is coffee, real coffee. No, with no sugar, but with sweet bread. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! You know, I feel, I feel that El Salvador, no hagamos. We we you know that we are a coffee country that we're coffee drinkers, but really we don't appreciate coffee. We drink That's coffee right. terribly. That's right. Because people are happy with a with a musum sobrecito musum and. And for them, you know, you're breaking them. Just the sound is breaking. I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Uh, yeah, I can hear you now. Uh huh. Please tell me again. Come again. Don't, yeah. Um. No, I I feel that um. We are not good coffee drinkers. 
Mm. For example, if you go to Wendy's, you ask for a mm-hmm. coffee, it's horrible. It's light. If you go to anywhere, it's light, and you ask him why. Es que la gente no le gusta fuerte. It doesn't necessarily have to be strong, but you have to feel this coffee. And uh, many people don't don't appreciate coffee. They they only drink instant coffee. Okay, I think Jose Isaias, can you hear me? Yes, All right. The, the Pollo Campero's coffee uh, and the Mr. Donut coffee is, is really good. Oh, those are good. Yes, those are good and very, very good. And um, La Uno gas station. I never tried it. You know what I like about La Uno? They are baristas. So when you go, they have the coffee and grain. And in that moment, they make it for you. Like oh, really? Santa Duvillas, too. Those, that's good coffee. I have to try it. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me share my page. Hold on. Okay, do you see my um do you see my webpage? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, I need to know one thing very very important today, okay? I need to know who is going to participate. I have 7 people online and I have only spoken with 3. So I need to know. So if you don't want to participate, it's okay, no problem. I will not call you. I just want to know who will participate. Me. Thank you, Adelina. Okay. So only Adelina and Isaías. Only Adelina and Isaías are going to participate today then. Okay, only hold on. I'm, then I'm going to erase everybody and only leave Isaías and Adelina. Well, I see Claudia connecting. It's very, you know, it's very strange talking to many people and people not responding. So I really don't know. Uh, well, I, I did receive a chat for some people. I understand if you can't. If you can't participate because you're busy, you're working, etc., but please tell me. But if you only connect to have the background and maybe you're doing something else, then show some respect to your other classmates, please. Show respect to the people who are active in class. Okay, um, David, Samuel, can you hear me now? Yes, teacher. Now okay. I can hear you. Okay, good. Yeah, I was calling you before. I was. It was surprising that you were not answering. <laughs> Maybe you had problems with your uh, speaker or microphone. Okay. Um. Do you see my screen? Questions one. Yes, we can see your screen. All right. Good. Thank you. Speak about a person, a place, object, or event that is familiar to you. This is what we did yesterday. Remember. Here's an example. So uh, don't complicate yourself. Think of something easy. 
think of something easy. Let's listen to this example. Let me share the. We're now going over the speaking section. We'll go over independent questions one and two. So in the next few minutes, we're going to look at how the questions are structured, what they ask, some tips you may take into account, response features, as well as what you will be evaluated on. Finally, we'll also look at a sample question. So here is generally what the questions will look like and how they are structured. For both questions one and two, sometimes you will be given a topic to speak about with additional reading or listening passages. You will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak your answer. Now let's look more closely at what the independent speaking questions will be asking you to do. So this is part of the exam. They're going to give you a topic. Do you know what a topic is? Yes. It's a subject. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. The topic is so a topic to speak about with no additional material. So you have 15 seconds to prepare. In this case, you have 15 seconds to think and analyze and arrange what you're going to say in 45 seconds to speak. Question one. Question one will ask you to speak about a person, place, object, or event that is familiar to you. Here's an example. Talk about a pleasant and memorable event that happened while you were in school. Explain why this event brings back fond memories. In question two, you will be presented with two situations or opinions. You will be asked which you prefer and you need to explain your choice. Here's an example. Some people think it is more fun to spend time with friends in restaurants or cafes. Others think it is more fun to spend time with friends at home. Which do you think is better? Explain why. Now here are some tips for how to approach these kinds of speaking questions. Number one, use the preparation time to organize your thoughts and maybe write down some notes. Don't try to write a full response because you won't have time. Don't memorize responses. Memorize responses will lower your score. They sound different and the content is different. Also take into account that you need to speak naturally and use common connection words and phrases such as because, so, after that, on the other hand, I want to mention what this means is these features in your response will help you get a better score. Have a clear and fluid speech. Have good pronunciation, natural pace. You will also be evaluated on delivery. Your speech needs to be clear and fluid with good pronunciation. The pace or speed of your speech should be natural and you should have good sounding intonation patterns. Language use. This is mainly how you use grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. And third, topic development. This is mainly how fully you answer the question, how clearly you express your ideas, and how you can connect one idea to the next in a way that is easy to follow. Okay, so pretty much natural pace. This is what they're looking for to evaluate you clear and fluid speech. So if I were you, I would speak slow and clear, but not very slow, just slow and clear. Good pronunciation, natural pace, good intonation. You will also be evaluated on delivery. Your speech needs to be clear and fluid with good pronunciation. The pace or speed of your speech should be natural and you should have good sounding intonation patterns. Language use. This is mainly how you use grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. And third, topic development. This is mainly how fully you answer the question, how clearly you express your ideas, and how you can connect one idea to the next in a way that is easy to follow. And why this event brings back fond memories. Question two, you will be presented with two. Give me one second, let me find this part. And you need to explain your choice. People think it is more, think it is more. Explain why. Approach these to organize your thoughts and maybe write down a full response. 
and the content is different. So after that, on the other hand. Okay, so these are good, these are good common connection words. Okay, because so after that, on the other hand, I want to mention what this means. Okay, let's do one thing, Adelina. Yes, teacher. Hi, tell me about a moment that marked your life when you were a little kid. Okay, take 10 seconds to think about it. Tell me if you're ready. Okay. Oh, yeah, I oh, have. Yeah. You got it? Okay. okay, yes. Okay, class, so let's all listen to it. Okay, good. Go ahead, tell us, Adelina. The best memories that I have when I was a child, I remember that I used to play with my dolls, with my cousin, and I really enjoyed those moments because I always um, uh, like dolls. I still conserve, I still have those uh, dolls, and that's when I see these dolls every time because they are in a like in a table here in my bedroom, when I see those uh, toys, I always get uh, get that memory when I was a child. So it's like uh, when I see it's like oh my god, like time flies because everything happens very fast. Uh, it was like um, um, sixteen years ago. And I consider that is one of the best memories that I have when I was a child. And also because I used to spend more time with my mother. Uh, actually, uh, I miss her. She's still alive, but I don't live with her. So when I see my toys, I remember those moments that my mother used to play with me too. So I can say that this is one of the best things that I, or memories that I have. Okay. So uh, class, thank you. Thank you, Adelina. Did you watch the movie Barbie? Yes. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> so let me see the graded part. Does she have a clear and fluid speech class? What do you think, David? Or Jose Saias? Oh, we lost him. Well, I only see David and Adelina today. So, David, does she have a clear and fluid speech? It, it really, I can hear pretty well. I only hear some words. Uh, I don't know if my internet, but I can hear... Uh, all of the conversation. I only hear some okay. words and lost and some oh. words. Okay, David. I have may, a problem with may, my, my internet. Okay, maybe but it's... In general, I think it's, it, it, it's, was, uh, it's friends, but uh, uh, I can say that too. Okay, maybe it is your internet because in my in my end, I could hear her perfectly. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, so okay. sometimes I lost the yes. image. I, I, it happens. I might lose the audio. Sometimes yes. it's the internet, but okay. Claudia, are you there? Anna, are you there? Carla, are you there? Jose, Jovito, are you, you see, class, this is really, really difficult because <laughs> there's many people connected and nobody answers. So, it's so there's no class today then oh Sulma yeah I saw you Sulma I saw you earlier Sulma what do you think about Adelina's response in my okay it's okay maybe you have a bad connection okay i need to know 
Carla, please, Carla Renderos, Alejandra Elizabeth, are you in class? Jose Jovito, are you in class? Yes, teacher. Okay, do you have a... Yes. Why don't you participate? Are you busy? Are you working? Are you studying? I have some problems because yes. I'm not in my house right now. So. Oh, okay. I don't know who's talking. I think Carla's talking right now. Jos yes, Jovito. I have training and I, I am not in my house right now, so I have oh, okay. to connect. Okay, thank you for telling me. Please tell me that. Jovito, okay. are you there? Yes, I hear the chat. Okay, can I ask you one question, please? Why don't you answer? Why don't you participate? Are you working? Are you busy? Are you doing something different? Uh, oh, okay, in this moment, I, I started in my work. Oh, you're working in this moment. Okay, but I, I see you in class. So you're only listening to the class? Yes, I listen in the class. Okay, so you're working. Okay. <laughs> so Adelina, nobody listened to you. <laughs> but did you uh... I listened to you. <laughs> I, I okay. will give you I will give you my opinion, but I just wanted Okay, tell me. But I wanted participation from the rest of the class because I don't know. For me, this is an interest for the class, not for me, you know? I, you know, the, the participation part. But I do understand that there's bad internet. For example, Carla had bad internet, bad connection. Anna, she disappeared, but she was on. She was connected and maybe it's a raining. But you know what? If three people have bad internet, maybe it's national because. It could be, it could be. Yeah, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens to me. Okay, um, Adelina, let me give you my my answer. <laughs> okay, teacher, go ahead. Clear, fluid speech, yes. Good pronunciation, yes. Good pace, yes. Good intonation, yes. You never, you never stopped. You never stutter. Do you know what stutter is? No. Stutter is como tartamudear. Oh, okay. You never did that, so that was good. So in this case, I think you were good. Let's score. see the rest. Good score. Have a clear and fluid speech. Have a natural pace. The pace or speed now, of your... delivery. Did you deliver on time? Yes. Language use? Yes. Topic development? No. Because you told me a story about your past. You know, and I, and I ask you, can you tell me a moment that Mark your life when you were a little kid oh okay i i do I understand no no i do understand how people you know yeah i do understand why you gave me that answer but remember tofu <laughs> so yes. remember that they're very specific <laughs> so maybe maybe they can they can they won't um they won't grade you good in that sense because maybe what they wanted to say is one time when I was a little kid, I was not wearing shoes and I stepped on a on a nail and I cut my finger very bad. And ever since that day, I always use shoes, you know, something like that, because that day impact. Something remarkable. Yeah, something remarkable about your about when you were a little kid. For example, um, something that uh, shocked me when I was a little kid, I was with my father and I saw a little kid get run over by a car. That is something very remarkable. Yes, it was, it was very, it, it wasn't something nice, but I, I, I think, I think about that every day. I, it's, I, it's I have difficult to, to, to forget. It is. The... That experience. You, you know what? I forget how old I was. I just remember I was very little. 
but I remember perfectly everything that happened. I was going to school with my father. I was maybe five, six, seven. And the little kid was with his mother in the in the street. And the little kid just crossed the street and the car hit him. And the little kid jumped. And I just, I remember the scream of the mother. My goodness. Yeah. It was, it was ugly. And that's why, that's why you cannot uh, forget that. Because it was very, yes. yeah. And you know, even now when I'm with my son and we're, I always hold his hand <laughs> everywhere. If we're in a parking, I, I, I make sure that he gets off the car and I hold his hand. Yeah, uh, yeah, for, for secu sec security. For security, yes. Because if not, <laughs> Yeah, so because of that of that moment in my past. So, but do you understand why maybe your answer was not the topic yeah, development? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah, I got it. But other know. than that, everything was perfect. Everything was fine. Thank you. Okay, thanks to you, teacher. Okay, now I need to know who else is online right now that can participate. Okay, Carla, I think you're still you're still in the street. I could hear. It's okay. No worries. Thank you. David, Samuel, are you, do you have a better connection now? Yes, yes. I, I, I get a, a earphone, so hear better. Okay. Um here, I'm going to ask you a question now. Go ahead. Let me see. And we're going to evaluate you on your answer. A topic to speak about with additional. Now let's look person, place, object, or event that is familiar to you. Here's an example. Talk about a pleasant and memorable event that happened while you were in school. Explain why this event brings back fond memories. Um, David Samuel, excuse me, how old are you? I am 62. 62. So I imagine you lived the war in El Salvador, no? Yes. The Civil War, maybe in school, you remember some things? Okay. When the, yes, I remember okay. many. May... Okay. Can you, can you tell me something about, okay, because it says talk about a pleasant and memorable event that happened while you were in school. Can you tell me about something that, uh, or you can you can say something good or something bad, you know? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I have many, many, many experiences in the civil war. I, okay, I... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but listen to my question though. Can you tell me about a pleasant or a memorable event that happened while you were in school? Okay. Yes, but so go ahead. Mm -hmm. But is, is we were talking about the civil wars, but when I was in college, I was in college, and uh, the the event that I remember in this moment is uh, about uh, Sunday when we are uh, uh, walking with my my girlfriend that now is my wife uh, about uh, forty five years ago. Okay. We were walking by the uh, Colonia Tlacat, some uh, is, is streets, some narrow streets in, in that, uh, uh, that uh, colony, I don't know how, Colonia okay. Okay. neighborhood. Neighborhood? Uh, yes. Uh, and uh, we don't know that we are walking near of the uh, military corps about the National Guard. And, uh, we were walking, talking, and taking off uh, our hands, and in uh, in some places, in uh, uh, we sit down in the floor, and uh, suddenly there are many, many, many members of uh, uh, military uniforms and with the their, their guns pointing to me, and uh, that uh, guy said me. Uh, you are uh, against the government. You are with the guerrillas. 
And uh, I, I told them, no, I know, I am a student. So I have my, my notebooks, my copy books, my books. And I show them all of my, one of my notebooks as a mass. And there are some uh, exercise of math exercise. Mm -hmm. And one of them took it and, and saw it and said me, no, 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 this is a secret code. I know, I know, this is a secret code. You are a surveillance, you are doing surveillance in, uh, about the, this military corp and you are having problems with us. No, I am a student. I am only working here with my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And all of them pointed to me, to, to his guns. And then uh, uh, I showed them uh, my calculator. I have my calculator and that calculator, that kind of calculator have a connector uh, like the charger or the phone that was uh, used by by that calculator, I, I, I showed them the calculator and the charger, and that guy said, uh, put uh, it's a radio. his gun, his gun against me, and say, no, 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 that is a bomb. I know that is a bomb. And the numbers in that uh, calculators in the past, not uh, are like numbers now. These numbers are uh, a, a like the, the, exactly like the number that you see in the, in the movies uh, about that. The, the the bomb halves like when they are in a oh. account. It was a very a difficult moment. It was a, a pleasant moment because I was uh, talking with my my girlfriend and and taking the angamla uh, taihu together. But that situation was uh, so difficult until uh, a man of a better. Uh, Range he came and said, "No, no, no, no. There is a, a, a engineering notes and let them then go." But uh, was a, a difficult moment because we are so young. Uh, yes, I I was almost uh, seventeen, and my my girlfriend was about sixteen, and was a, a moment that is in our memory until today. Oh. I imagine. Okay, thank you. That was a very interesting story. Okay, so uh who heard that? I know I know Adelina was listening. So um what do you think about clear and fluid speech? Um, well, I could understand, and 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 the the fluency is, I consider is okay. It's good. Okay, good. It was good. Yeah. Me too. I consider it was very good. A fluid speech. The only thing, David, that you use a lot of um uh uh ah. Uh. So what they recommend you here is to use this. Remember, try to use these words. The connectors. The connectors. So instead of using ah, uh, ah, uh, use so. <laughs> you understand? Use so. Oh, wait. Oops. Mm -hmm. You know, I was walking with my girlfriend, and because we were walking there, the soldiers stopped us. You know, and um, after that, they asked me if I was in a guerrilla. Okay, so I I would recommend you to use more connectors. Great teacher. And let me see. Good pronunciation. I could understand you very good. You had a good natural pace. You had a good intonation. Delivery, yes, good topic. Language use. The only thing is, um, next, don't be so specific because you were saying we were walking in Atlacat neighborhood and the narrow road, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Keep it more simple. 
we were walking in a neighborhood okay where there were militaries mm -hmm. and you said there were many militaries and actually en español así sombras habían militares but actually in english you don't say militaries you say soldiers soldiers okay or military soldiers Okay, but other than that, it was very good. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. All right, Anna, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So sorry about the incident, but I don't know why. Okay. Uh, Zoom took me off, and until right now, they sent a, a link in the WhatsApp team, in the WhatsApp group, I could connect through my phone, but I'm trying oh, really? with my computer, and it's not working. I don't know what's going on. So maybe Zoom is the problem in this moment. I guess so, because not only me, uh, I face the issue. I see that. But when, when I try to connect, it says that the house has another meeting. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you tell us about an event that impacted your life forever? <gasps> My goodness. Impacted my life forever. Now this could Where? be something good or bad. It's oh, I I, I could cut it. I'm sorry. Let me. Wow, I see two Annas. <laughs> yeah. Can you hear me from here? Perfectly. Yes. Uh, okay. Thank you. I prefer the computer. Maybe Zoom was giving an issue. And it's an event that impacted my life forever. Well, I can go back to my childhood and I remember, as far as I remember, I was, I was about, I guess, 12 or 13 years. Yeah, I guess 13. And we were in that vacation time, remember at the end of the year in mm -hmm. this month of November, December, something like that. Yes. And we used to every morning, instead of helping at home with all the uh, cleaning errands and stuff like that, always we uh, have breakfast and then turn on the TV. <laughs> And we spent like around two, three hours in that time. Just imagine now kids with mobile phone, they spend the whole day with mobile phone. But for us, we were watching with my uh, elder sister, like two or three hours television, all these cartoons, special for the Christmas time. And that year specifically, my dad took his vacation time. And he, it was on his third vacation day. And I remember he was, the two the two previous days, he was just watching us. He was coming, going in and out from the house, etc. But the third day, he came like around 11 a.m. And he said, okay, tomorrow you will start English classes. <laughs> yeah, you no longer will be watching television too much time. So you and your sister, I just uh, uh, subscribe you, made the subscription for you to start classes from 10 to 12 every day. And we were like, no, come on. It was like a punishment. Can I say still? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. It was a punishment for us because we were watching too much television. But that punish, uh, punishment, that is the word, right? Punishment. Mm -hmm. That punishment uh, in, impacted my life in a, in a different way because now I can tell you since that day, I discovered that I like uh, to learn English. I like English and language. And so I decided to continue studying maybe two or three hours uh, week, during the week. But then the next year... Uh, the th that time increase, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There was a time when I was like around 
20, I was in my 20s, I remember. I decided, no, I must learn very well because I was taking a course here, receiving classes from there, uh, reading this and that, but not a formal thing. So I decided with my, at the time I was uh, working, it was my second job, and I was also studying at the university and I decided, no, I will pay formal classes. And that is how I went to a, a, an institute, a different school. They helped me a lot, but it always uh, I knew I was missing something because I, was, I wasn't able to complete all the courses. And um, I can tell you, I learned multiple things on my own, but also looking information, receiving some classes. But until this time, I can tell you that I uh, got formal instruction or classes with English Corporativo. That is why I decided two years ago to start okay. in this uh, treatment. And, and, and why impacting my life is because I'm surviving, I'm working because I work in a full center. And um, all these uh, years ago, I've been uh, supplying my life with this job. So I believe it or not, I'm I am uh, seventeen years <laughs> working in the coastal area. Mm -hmm. and so, and, and that is why that event impacted my life because that punishment launched me to discover new uh, advantage of learning different languages after uh, i remember uh, i also studied uh, i i started to learn french but i, I just studied the first two cycles or first levels two first two levels um, i decided better to perfect and being a professional learner with uh, English and that is why I'm here but right. I'm still working okay good awesome interesting okay so let's evaluate her according to TOEFL class so welcome <laughs> Carla welcome I see Carla's... according to TOEFL TOEFL will let me out <laughs> was she clear and fluid yes yes very clear and fluid Good pronunciation? Of course, yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> natural pace? Good. Yes, it's so natural. Very so natural. <laughs> Good intonation? Two. Perfect intonation. Yes. Good. You see the difference here, uh, David, you see in this case, because she was a little bit more in the way, but that's in the way she speaks. She was more fluid. She didn't need to use many sentence connectors. Mm. Yes. yes, so the center's connectors, just put that in your head. If you're going to say, um, uh, uh, no, just use a center's connector. Use so, and then, and. Okay, now. The delivery of the topic, uh, the delivery, does she deliver? Yes. Language use? Yes. What about topic development? It's very clear, very good development. Okay, in my case, I think no. Mm -hmm. Well, and let me tell you why, because I am thinking TOEFL. Mm -hmm. I am thinking as a TOEFL. No, I'm not, I mean, for me, it was it was very interesting. Mm -hmm. I like the story, but the remember that TOEFL is very tricky. Mm -hmm. And the question was about an event. So it had to happen in one day, in one situation. Um, and and yes, what you told me, it was the event of your father, but then you told me the story about you going to class um, and why that helped and, and this and that, you know? Um, it had to be about an event. And okay. probably, teacher, the event yes. could be uh, the, that day when the uh -huh. when exactly. my father Oh, yeah. Yes. That was up, the, the up to event. there. It was good, but then she continued the story and she switched. 
she kind of you know like yeah. Uh, she, got it. yeah okay no but yes she did say that for me that was perfect right there the event so one day my father he decided tomorrow you study okay good but then the, in the tougher way that would be the direct answer right yes answer that would that, that would answer. be the answer they wanted okay uh -huh. and this is for david adelina and anna and the people who have said the story sometimes they will tell you you have 45 seconds you have 50 seconds you have one minute so um, in this case i let you speak more because it's good mm -hmm. I, wa I wanted to hear you speak so mm -hmm. it's good but remember they will, uh, they will it's tell awesome. you so you gotta if they tell you do you have 45 seconds to think like if somebody would tell me let's say somebody would ask me you have 45 seconds Tell me about an event that changed your life. The day that I born. Yeah. You. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, or the first day at school. The first day uh -huh. at school. Yes. Uh, 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 they need an answer, a straight answer, let's say. Yes. Okay. Um. For example, I would say something like, I am an atheist. I don't believe in God, although I did. Mm -hmm. But one day I watched a movie about the Holocaust. And it really impacted me. And I asked myself, why did this happen? Why did mm -hmm. God permit this? Because everything I believed in God, when I watched that movie, it was totally different. So mm -hmm. after that, I studied more and I read many books about the Nazis, about the Holocaust. And I decided to become an atheist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, talking around that event that day. Mm -hmm. Yes, because when I saw that that movie, it really it really impacted me. Oh, is and that true? Is that just an example? No, it is true. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. It is true. Uh, I I think I was in the sixth grade and I watched that and oh my god, and you know after that, I asked every religious leader I could think of evangelists i asked mormons i asked catholic preachers why did this happen and nobody can give me a good answer mm -hmm. a an answer that convinces me so in that that's why i decided not to believe i don't think but you know but in El salvador everybody thinks i am satanic <laughs> <laughs> because if you don't believe in god you're satanic but you know so, for example, I don't teach my son anything about religion. Anything. Nothing, nothing, nothing. My wife does, but I, I have to respect that. She respects me, I respect that. That's so, okay. but did you see, I told you that maybe like yeah. in 30 seconds or 40 seconds. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I told you about that specific event when I watched that movie. Mm -hmm. um, before class... Uh, before, I think, uh, Anna, you couldn't hear very well. I told Adelina because I asked her the same question. Mm -hmm. And I told her also about, but what was the question, Adelina? It was a remarkable. Uh, a remarkable yeah. moment in your life. Yeah. Yes, I was telling her that once I was with my father, he was taking me to school. I don't remember how old I was, but maybe I was between five and seven. And there was a mother in the side of the street with her son and her son, he was maybe my age and he crossed the street and a car hit him. Oh, and I... and I, and I saw the little kid fly and oh. I saw the little kid when he landed on the floor mm. and I remember the sound. Ugh. Yes. It's horrible. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. And I remember the scream of the mother. And mm -hmm. I don't want to remember that, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I can't, I can't yeah. take it off. And, and that impacted me too, because even today, when I, when I am with my son and I park in a supermarket or anywhere, I make sure I get my son off the car first and I take his hand. Mm -hmm. I don't let him, okay, what happened? No, I, I, I open the door for him. Mm -hmm. That's better. And maybe, maybe because of that event. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, but very good. All right, cool. But remember, 
Mm -hmm. Remember that Tolfo the duffel people way. are yeah. evil. <laughs> mm -hmm. They are evil. You can have everything good, but then it says, yes, but you see, you didn't give me the specific event. You didn't give me the specific time. You were telling yes, because me. As a, as a Latin, we flowered too much. And I guess I then flowered. <laughs> no, no, but, you know, Adelina had almost the same answer similar to you. You know, uh... she was telling a story, a story, but <laughs> it was actually about a specific. So event. In this way, no link. Just the event that mm -hmm. day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Okay. okay. <laughs> and if they tell you, okay, you have 20 seconds to think about it. Just remember what the, the video says. Listen to the uh, exactly to the question. Okay. So, for example, when I said specific event, boom, there's your. And if you That's don't. Uh, and another thing, if you don't know one, then invent one. Or use an event of your sister, of your mother, of your father. Okay. Yes. They don't want they don't want to hear your story, but you know, like uh you know, an event that changed my life. One day I remember I was I don't know. It was raining outside and I decided to go out and play and a uh, thunder landed by my house. Mm. And mm -hmm. I got so scared that ever since that, when I hear a thunder, I get scared. That happens only in the U.S. because they live like <laughs> around branches. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I just invented that. But, you know, that, that's what they want to hear. Yeah. Did she say event? Yes. Did she yeah. say specific time? Yes. Did she yeah. say why? Yes. Okay, good. Next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Porque a veces nosotros, like Latins, nos clavamos y queremos contar una historia bien. Oh, fíjense que una vez, you know, we want to tell the story. Yeah. But they the don't want to hear this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the gringo, they don't want to hear your story. They just mm -hmm. want to hear if you, if you said the, if you understood the question and said a specific. Yeah. But, you know, talking about thunder and lightning, do you know that theory when it's going to rain? Okay, watch. What is first, thunder or lightning? Thunder? No, actually, lightning is first. <laughs> but well, I think at the, start, at the same time. But, no, watch. Uh... Listen to this. Pay attention to this because it's true. When you see a thun, when you see a lightning, count. Like imagine there's a lightning now. Yes. yes. You see a lightning, count one, two, three, four, five. You hear the thunder. Mm -hmm. So you count it to five seconds. So it's going to rain in five minutes. Mm -hmm. I promise you, I don't know why it works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because I, I remember I learned that when I was a little kid in school, they told us that's the velocity of time or or of or, or whatever, or the weather. So that's why that's why lightning is first and then it's thunder. It's the sound, the the sound come on, speed of sound or something. I remember one time we, I was teaching a class in physical and we were in a terrace and we saw the lightning. And we counted one, two, three, four. Y nunca se oye el trueno. Like in 18, you hear the thunder. Oh. At 18. So we said, okay, class, vamos a ver. So if in 18 minutes, it starts to rain. Y cabal, it started to rain in 18 minutes. 18, 19 minutes. Well, next time do that. Do it with your children. It's it's a very fun trick. It's, it's those tricks that make you go, wow, it's true. <laughs> okay, so a hey, very good class. I, I like that. So this is how you're going to be evaluated. Now, once again, remember the um, question can vary. The question can say, so you have 45 seconds. You have one minute. This is your question. You have 20 seconds to prepare. Start now. Read your question. Read it very well. 
por ejemplo, I think the listening part here is the most important for Anna and for Adelina because once again, I'm not trying to say that you were bad. No, it was a no, very no, good No, I answer. understand the instruction. We need to uh -huh. understand very well the instruction. It was a very, uh -huh. yes, and you know how TOEFL is. Mm -hmm. So I would really pay attention to a specific moment. Okay, so don't tell a story. Tell that specific moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if it says, tell me about a time in your life when you were happy. Oh, okay. Time in my life. So you can, you know, that's different. <laughs> mm -hmm. I remember when I was a little kid, I used to play with the dolls. And I was very happy because I, I spent time with my mother and my cousin. And I always remember that until today. Something like that. And mm -hmm. right there, you spoke about a time in your life. Okay. 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 Right. That was a very, very good practice. Hi, Carla, Jasmine. <laughs> Tomorrow you're next, I promise. Well, you know what? We have we have two or three minutes. So let, let's do a serious one now. Okay, Carla, I'm going to ask you a question. You have 10 seconds to think about it. You can invent if you want, okay? Okay, teacher. Tell me, why did you break up with your first boyfriend? Well, I know I don't remember the specific time, but I okay. Get... Uh, number one event, uh, invent. If you don't remember, you, oh, okay. you have an I... answer. Tell okay. me, cause I saw him with another girl. Okay, it it was when I when I ha when I am twelve years old, maybe, okay. and I was in a school, so I have some problem, and. I think the most difficult is because my mother was so angry with me and they uh, he doesn't he didn't allow me to to have a boyfriend. She didn't allow me. Uh -huh. she didn't allow me to have a boyfriend. Okay. Okay, okay, good. So um what okay, number one is when I was twelve. Uh, okay, when I was twelve. So if we if we evaluate you on grammar, clear, clear, and clear and fluid speech, you spoke fast. You spoke fluid. Yes, maybe okay. you did have grammar mistakes. Okay. Good pronunciation. I mean, I understood. Natural pace, good intonation. Okay, but you know what. What do you think went different, class? What was my question? I'm breaking down your boyfriend. I said, tell me, why did you break up with your first boyfriend? That was my question. And you started your answer. It was when I was 12. So listen to my, my question was why? And you are answering when. <laughs> okay. Although you did tell me because of my mother, right? Okay. But but remember, TOEFL will tell you, I didn't ask you when you broke up with your boyfriend. Just why? I ask you why. Mm -hmm. okay. So remember, keep it short and simple. I broke up with my first boyfriend because my parents didn't permit me to have boyfriends. <laughs> Oh, okay. Or because my parents didn't let me and they discovered I had a boyfriend. So because of that, I had to break up with him. Which is, is true. So that extra that extra information is unnecessary in this because remember, you have 30 seconds. So yeah, it's very interesting that yeah, I was 12 and but, you know, some people say, oh, I remember I was 12. I was in school. He lived in front of me. We were friends. Very good. <laughs> but, you know, but TOEFL will say so. <laughs> the TOEFL, uh, the, the people who are grading you will say, yes, but my question is why? No where, no when, 
know who. So in this case, remember, do the active it, it listening. It could be, sorry, teacher, it could be a simple question like, for example, I brought with him because she, he, she don't on me. Exactly. And you know, and this was a very, um, like you said, simple, simple answer. But make that answer last 30 seconds, depending what they tell you. Okay, you have 30 seconds. Tell me, why did you break up with your first boyfriend? Oh, okay. Uh, the reason why I broke up with my first boyfriend is because I suspected that he cheated on me. And when and I did discover at the long that it was true. And when that happened, I just told him I didn't want to be with him anymore. You know, it's like <laughs> clear answer to a to the question. Thirty seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you very much, class. I have to go now, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, we'll continue okay, a little bye. bit more about Good this tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye. bye. bye.